This video will show how to update both the acquisition board and the GUI or graphic user interface on the benchmark wireline touchscreen Hoisman's display operator panel. This procedure is for models 244, 148, 44 and 41. First, get a USB flash drive and copy the latest version of the software from benchmark wireline. You will need these two update files. After these two files are saved on the USB drive, insert it in the panel on the left side of the screen. To keep files organized, you may create a folder on the panel named, Hoisman, and then copy the two update files into that folder. First, update the 2K acquisition board using the benchmark update utility file found on the home screen of the panel. Click the icon and the updater utility will open. Then click the browse button and select the most recent .hex update file. Then click open. Verify that the hex file contains the characters, 2K, somewhere in the file name. Then click the start button. Next it will ask for confirmation of the update, and select the yes button. The system will then ask you to enter the panel number to verify that you are using the correct update for that panel. The panel number is found on the sticker on the back of the panel. Make sure that the panel number contains the letters 2K. Then click continue, and a restart command is sent, and the programming will begin. When the programming is completed, a pass message will display verifying that the update was successful. Then click OK and the panel will be running the new application. Now we will install the new Hoisman display update. Go to the Hoisman folder, or wherever you save the Hoisman update file, and locate the most recent setup file. Then open that file. The preparing to install message will display. Depending on the program and operating system currently on your panel, you will get a welcome message. Click Next. On the Modify, Repair or Remove page. Select the Remove option and click Next. On the, Remove the Program page, click Remove and the Uninstall process will begin. And finally, on the Install Shield Wizard page, click Finish. Now back in the Hoisman folder, double-click on the newest version of the Hoisman file. It will ask you to verify the destination folder. Click Next. And Install, and it will begin installing the update. Then click Finish, to confirm completion. You can test the update by going to the desktop and clicking on the Launch Hoistman display icon and then click Properties. Click the shortcut tab and look at Start In, to verify that the update is located in the correct location. Also check, Desktop, All Programs. And then click Startup, and you should see the Hoistman shortcut. Then check properties and you can see that it's in the same physical location.